All right, today I am going to teach you guys how to read a depth micrometer. So uh, what we have here is a standard depth micrometer. Uh, this is a cheap one, comes from like Harbor Freight. You can get these for, you know, pretty inexpensive. Um, but we would classify this as a zero to six inch micrometer. And you can see that right there, it says zero to six inch and tells you that it reads in increments up to a thousandth of an inch. And so the way it reads is going to be dependent on which rod that you decide to put into the housing. So you can see right here, we got these rods of different lengths. So if I was measuring a depth that was between zero and one inches, I would want the smallest one. And then going all the way up to the top, the longest one is going to read anything from five to six inches. So if my spec, for example, let's say my counter bore, it was supposed to be 4.5 inches deep, then I would want to choose this guy because this is the one that will measure anything from four to five inches. So four and a half inches within its range, all right? So in order to do that, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed while I hold this. Uh, you gotta take this top piece off right here. So you thread it off. And once you get it off, you see you got the hole up here, right? So this is where I would take this guy and I would take this end and put it in here. Again, hard to do one-handed, um, but I would let it drop and then I'll put the cap back on. So I'm gonna put the cap back on and then I'll show you guys how to read this thing. All right, so I got the cap back on. Now, if we're looking at it, you can see that I have this thing, let it focus here. I have this thing backed all the way out. So you can see it says 0, 0.0 is where I'm at. So since I got the four to five inch rod in there, that means that since I've got it backed out so far that I'm exactly at four inches, right? So it's kind of easy to figure out that as this thing goes in, if I keep going in like this, like right here at the halfway point, you know, so now I'm not at 4.1 yet, but I'm at 4.05. And then you'll notice that on the handle, it's increments of a thousandth of an inch. So if I was at 4.05 and I go all the way around to zero again, I'm still not at 4.1, but I have gone 25 thousandths around. So now I'm at uh, 4.075. And then if I go one more full rotation to zero again, right there, now I know that I'm at 4.1. So what's kind of important and how this is different is when you're reading a regular micrometer, it's what you can see is your measurement. But when we're reading a depth micrometer, we're covering up our measurements, right? So anywhere where I can't see the one, I gotta assume I'm at 4.1, right? There's 4.125, go around again one full turn, back to zero, all right, there's 4.15, go past this again, 4.175, and then one more turn, and we're at 4.2. So when you're measuring this, it's more about what you can't see than what you can. You gotta take into account what's after the numbers. So of course, if I were to take this and go all the way down here, to zero on this, then I'm at the full length of that rod. I pushed it all the way out, which means that I am at uh, exactly five inches. So if my spec was 4.5 inches, what I would want to do probably is come up here uh, just shy of the five, right? So I would want to maybe somewhere right around in here Right, and then put it in the, uh, the bore and measure the depth of the counter bore. So we're looking at this counter bore ledge on this international and we see that this ledge is way up here. So if I looked in the book for this spec, I would probably find that the spec for this counter bore ledge is actually uh, less than an inch. So of course, since I put the four to five inch rod in here, I am way over, I can't, even if I'm all the way out, I'm still 
way longer than this is. So, but you get the idea, right? So I would want the zero to one inch to measure this ledge. But if I was measuring the ledge, I would want to just simply put my tool on here like this. And you can see how my rod goes way past the ledge, but I would have this set to where the rod is sitting just slightly above it. And then I would start lowering this guy while I put my other hand would be right here holding it down. And as soon as I felt it start to try to lift, you know, that's where you stop and then you take it out and take your measurement. So I hope this video helps you guys understand how to use these. Um, understanding how to uh, take these measurements is a key part of building engines. And there are different ones of these tools on the market. You can get digital ones where all you have to tell it is which rod you put in it. And the digital display will tell you what your counterboard depth is. Um, but yeah, measuring counterboard depth is a key component and understanding uh, the straightness of this ledge and how it affects how the sleeve sits on top of it. You look right here, underneath here, that's the part that sits on that ledge. And if that ledge isn't straight, that means the sleeve isn't straight. And I think we all know that we don't want a piston traveling up and down inside of something that's not straight.